So if you want to uh, find the answer up to three decimal places, then you can use this. But let me tell you one thing, the method requires practice. So you need to be sure that you know all the steps and only then you can apply it in real life situations. Let's see the first example there, 23 divided by 8. So I need three decimal places, right? So I'll write 23 as 23.000. And then I will write the divisor 8 on the left hand side. Now I know that divisor 8 is very close to the base 10 and it has a deficit of 2. So 10 minus 8 is 2. So I will write the deficit here 2 and then I'll bring down this 2 without any change and multiply it by the deficit. So I'll get 2 times 2, 4, which I'll write below 3 here and I'll add 3 plus 4 that gives me 7. Now the next step there is to multiply this 7 by the deficit. You get 7 2s are 14, which I will write below this here, 14. And now 0 plus 14 will give you a 14 itself, which is more than the divisor 8. So I'll subtract 8 from this so as to make it less than 8 and add 1 to the previous number. This is what we have been doing in the previous videos also. Then 2, 7 plus 1 is 8 and 14 minus 8 is 6. Now again, 6 times the deficit 2 is 12. So I will write that under the next 0 here and that gives me 0 plus 12 as 12. And finally, 12 is more than 8. So I'll reduce this by 8 and add 1 here. You will get 2, 8, 7 and 4. You can continue this process on and on by putting more zeros. You can follow this uh, till any number of digits. But for me, this answer has been obtained because you have uh, like 23 in the front part of the number that is the number before decimal and that should give you two point something as the answer. So 2.874 is the uh, quotient when you op uh, when you divide 23 by 8. So that's one type of division which you can follow for obtaining an answer which is very close to the approximate three digit decimal point. Let's see the next question which is little bit more typical than the previous one because we are dividing a three digit number by a two digit number and whenever you have to divide by two digit numbers the process becomes little lengthy and little um, you know it requires more persistence and uh, more effort and you need to solve many problems so that you can apply it to actual problems so 625 right and we need like three decimal places so you can put any number of zeros there and now let's draw a vertical line and a horizontal line here and we have the divisor as 41. Now follow the steps I'll separate out 4 and 1 like this and because 4 1 times is 4 which is very close to this number 6 so I'll write a 4 here one in the quotient that is traditional division right but i am doing it by 4 not by 41 so when you subtract these two you will get two here and the next two comes down now till here i am just dividing by 4. now there's one important thing once i get a digit in the quotient i'll multiply that by the second number here that is one so one times 1 gives me 1 and I will reduce this 22 by 1 that gives me 21. That reduction is really important. Now again I will perform the division step 4 5 times is 20. See that is traditional division right and if I subtract them I will get a 1 here and then I will have to bring down the next digit which, which is 5 here so this becomes 15. Now once I get a digit in the quotient 5 I told you you have to reduce this by 1 times 5 and 1 times 5 is 5 
So if you reduce this by 5, you will get 10. And now you can follow that method because 5 is all the digits, you know, before decimal are exhausted. So you will put a decimal here and bring down the next digit and follow the procedure. So 4, 2 times is 8, which will fetch you a 2 here. So I got a 2 there. So I'll put 2 after decimal. And now I'll have to subtract something from that, right? So before that, you bring a 0 down there and then 1 times 2 is 2 so subtract 2 from this you will get 18 and now 18 means 4 times 4 so I get a 4 in the answer so 4 times 4 is 16 which gets me a 2 again and a 0 so you can keep on doing it like this 1 times 4 4 to be subtracted from this so you will get a 16 and you can follow the same method to get any number of digits. I have done it up to two decimal places. You can do it as far as you want to. So probably the next digit will be 4 there. So I'll write a 4 here. That's the approximate answer which you will get for this particular question. 625 divided by 41 will be 15.244 approx. But it is rounded off to three decimal places. So I think you will get the answer accurately if you follow the procedure for more number of digits.